Om Shanti and welcome back to your own channel. See the soul the truth lies within and we are here on the 1st of May, Godly Blessing. And in this Godly Blessing, God wants us to be in remembrance of Him so that we can enact every action of ours accurately. This blessing takes time for us to imbibe in our life but then slowly slowly as we begin to remember God and try to do every act being God conscious, our acts, our thoughts, and our actions will start becoming purer day by day. So we'll try to understand what does Baba have to say in this blessing. Baba says, May you have accurate remembrance and become a karma yogi full of all powers and always keep your weapons with you. Now these weapons are the weapons of knowledge and weapons of powers so that you can make your mind stable in any kind of situation in front of any kind of person. So God says, accurate remembrance means to remain constantly full of all powers. Now we have total of eight powers, but then God has said in today's divine blessings and also in the divine versions that there are more than eight powers. When a situation as an enemy comes in front of you and your weapons are not used. Now we are here saying that the person is not the enemy. We are calling the situation as the enemy and not the person as the enemy. So it is a very beautiful saying that the enemy, if there is no enemy within, then the enemy outside can do us no harm. That means the weakness lies within and situations only arise when we are not able to face ourselves within or when we are not able to face any kind of situation within ourselves because of lack of power and that lack comes because we are not connected to God. So God says, when a situation as an enemy comes in front of you and your weapons are not used, you would then not be said to be someone who has your weapons. When you have remembrance in every actions, you will have success. Just as you cannot stay without doing anything for even a second, we are always active, even blinking is, is an action. Breathing is also an action as for God. So God is saying that you are busy doing something or the other throughout the day. In the same way, you cannot perform any actions without having yoga. So constantly remembering God, which will happen over a period of time. In the beginning, it takes time. So we generally do our actions without remembrance of God and that becomes a negative action or a negative karma. So, be a karma yogi and have your weapons. So, when we remember God, when we are doing our karma and we are being in remembrance of God, that's the time when we are at attention and we have our weapons of powers and virtues we can, which we can use if any kind of situation arises. Use your powers at the appropriate time, God says, with your orders and you will then be said to be an accurate yogi. So to become an accurate yogi, the powers have to be used at the right time in the right situation. And if we don't use it, that means we are not becoming a karma yogi. That means we are doing a karma not by remembering God at every instant. So this takes practice. It's not a one-day process. It takes a lot of years of practice. But then we have to start somewhere. And to start somewhere means to do the first seven-day course where we can learn in details about how to go about this journey. And with this, Om Shanti.